2015, Ireland was one of 193 countries which signed up to achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals before 2030. Awareness rates of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals across Ireland is very low. The Sustainable Development Goal Roadshow for 2022 was an effort to increase people's awareness, knowledge and understanding of the goals. The Sustainable Development Goal Roadshow for 2022 took place between the 23rd and 27th of May and started in two different locations. Nick Doran started his leg of the roadshow in Ennis and then proceeded to go through Limerick, Listowel, Tralee and Dingle before ending his trip in Killarney. Bobby McCormick started in Waterford and went through Dungarvan, Yall, Cork City, Clonakilty, Bantry and Kenmare before ending his leg of the journey in Killarney. Sustainable Development Goals now in a second, but first of all I want you to think about what sensory information is. So this kind of goes back a little bit to, to cognition and, and language uh, or meaning creation. All sensory information is essentially a massive, really complex puzzle that we are eternally trying to solve in our minds and put narratives to or put some kind of structure to it or make sense out of it. with the SDGs. Now don't worry, I won't go to you if you do say you're familiar, but who's familiar with them? So qu quite a few of you, right? I'd, I'd really like to ask you to just talk to the person sitting beside you. What is the biggest issue or challenge facing your community? Now you can define your community whatever way you wish. Yeah, so we're not operating to strict definitions here. What is the biggest issue or challenge facing your community? So I'll give you two or three minutes and then we'll talk more. Very briefly, no poverty it was mentioned, I think, by your good selves. There's two kinds, there's relative and absolute. In Ireland, when you're referring to poverty, mostly, it's relative we're talking about. We do have absolute poverty. People who don't have enough food to survive or don't have enough money to survive, but it's quite low in comparison to a lot of countries. And then lastly, responsible consumption and production. When we're going around in the road show, we're trying to use things that are reusable. So we're not trying to just, you know, come up with stuff that's never used again. Um, and how we purchase things, the considerations that we, we take into account. Now that's a very quick tour of the SDGs and the only purpose in doing that is to really kind of highlight that all of this figures and that's why it's important. SDG Roadshow Bike Tour 2022 has taken us into Tralee and I'm here at Munster Technological University with Catherine Carty and Killian Kelly um, and we're here to have a discussion about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals uh, and also biodiversity and conservation, uh, uh, both of which uh, both Catherine and Killian are involved in. What we're seeing in Europe is that birds on the, on the periphery, like we are, and, and not just birds now, the insects and, and all other species, 
They were often declining at the edges of their range. So we see, start to see them here in Ireland first, before mm. they start to decline across their European range. We see this with kestrels, with barn owls, all sorts of birds. A nice thing about the SDGs was as well that it did give an opportunity for everyone. It does call on everyone um, in the community, all sectors of society, you know, from, from government to civil society organisations, individuals to large corporations to get on board. Um, and that's good. Goal seven, who's got goal seven? Brilliant. Affordable and clean energy. Goal 16, peace, justice and strong institutions. There's too much conflict in the world. We need a more peaceful world. So this, this goal is around partnership for the goal. And what I need is around 12 volunteers. You need to make a triangle and you've got about two minutes. I'm quite ready. <laughs> seem strange to mention this one it didn't come up in this group good for you because you've been well fed and I say that not jokingly how many of your students don't have enough food so Bernardo is reckon in Ireland around one in ten children on any given day don't have enough food to concentrate in school one in ten now as educators we need to be aware of these types of things because not everybody in our rooms are coming from positions that when we open the fridge door it's full. Okay, so here we are, somewhere between Clonakilty and Bantry. We're after coming from Clonakilty this way, we're heading towards Bantry. We were in with the bike circus this morning. We're in Clonakilty Further Education Training Centre and in with the Meds Sheds. And I am wrecked, hence coconut water. I would highly recommend it. Uh, looking forward to getting into Bantry in about maybe two hours time. Have a good night's rest and back doing workshops tomorrow. Cheers.
Ireland's not doing well on the sustainable development goals, but we have up until 2030. And what we're trying to do with goal number eight is have decent work for everybody and economic growth that doesn't affect some of the other goals. So that's another day's work. The end of the SDG Roadshow Tour 2022. Ten workshops, about 700 kilometres, about seven broken spokes, I think, between the two of us, and uh, a couple of punctures. But yeah, we, we made it through. It was great, really a uh, fun cycle, enjoyable uh, journey through Ireland. So the aim of the SDG Roadshow was to really try to raise awareness of the Sustainable Development Goals, right from Ennis, Limerick, Cork, Waterford, Kerry, and, and we feel we've done our part. We've engaged people as much as we can, but the awareness rate is still very low. So the call is really out now to the viewers of, of this piece. Over to you, try to spread the word, get people involved, especially those in adult and community education. Let's raise awareness of the SDGs. Partnership for the goals. Just to thank all the agencies that supported us throughout this journey as well. Uh, we really, uh, we li quite literally could not have done it without them. So to our main funder Irish Aid, this wouldn't be possible without them. To Airgrid for sponsoring the SDG Roadshow and to Coalition 2030, your help is very much appreciated. <laughs>